ever get that feeling where you just you can't remember something basic? Yeah. Like what you had for dinner last night? I know I do. Happens to the best of us. Well, what if we had an AI that could remember and process information like thousands and thousands of pages of text all at the same time? Sounds pretty handy. That's the power we're looking at today. Google's Gemini 1.5. With a massive 2 million token context window. Oh, you're going to deep dive into all that. Absolutely. So 2 million, that number's huge. What does it actually mean? It's all about this idea of a context window. So think of a token as, let's say, a piece of a word, you know, the smallest bit of language that this AI can actually understand. Okay. And this context window is like the AI's short-term memory. One thing. The bigger that window is, the more tokens, the more pieces of words it can hold in its memory at any given time. Gotcha. So the, the larger the context window, the more the AI can understand all at once. Exactly. So instead of just skimming a news article, it can absorb an entire textbook. It's like having a superpower. But how does all that translate into actually solving problems? you know, in the real world. Well, they put Gemini 1.5 to the test with a crazy amount of tokens, 30,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like you or I trying to analyze like this complex legal document or a giant research paper just all in one go. A lot to process. A lot to process. And Gemini did a pretty impressive job. But there's a catch, right? Didn't they hit a bit of a snag during these tests? Yeah, they did. So when they pushed past that 30,000 token mark, they ran into what's called a 429 resource exhausted error. Okay, I'm not a programmer. What does that mean? Basically, it's like you're trying to fit a giant encyclopedia into a tiny little bookshelf. Just not going to happen. Just not enough space. Yeah. But here's the thing. Gemini is actually pretty smart. It adapted. It did. It Instead did. of trying to cram everything in all at once, it broke the problem down like into these smaller, more manageable pieces. Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you work on these smaller sections and then put it all together. Ah, okay. So it can kind of work around these limitations. Yeah, it finds a way. That's pretty cool. Especially if we're talking about, you know, really complex problems, the kind of stuff that Gemini is designed for. It's essential, really. And to prove its worth, they put it through this gauntlet of 93 incredibly hard software engineering problems. Oh, wow. Like an exam. Exactly. They used this benchmark called the SW Bench Verified Light category. What's that even mean? Well, it's like a standardized test, but for AI, it basically evaluates how good it is at solving real world coding challenges. So did our AI student pass? It aced it. No way. 100%. All 93 problems solved. So this whole context window thing, it's not just a gimmick then, it's the real deal. Oh, yeah. This is a whole new way of thinking about how AI can solve problems. It's a game changer. Okay, so if Gemini can already handle these crazy coding problems, what else could it do? Like, could it be used to look at climate data, maybe? That's a great example. Imagine it going through tons of satellite images and sensor data, you know, from the past few decades, trying to figure out which parts of the world are most at risk from, let's say, rising sea levels. We'd have a much better idea of where to focus our efforts. Yeah. Or what if it could go through massive libraries of medical research to try and find cures for diseases that we just haven't been able to crack yet? Well, that would be amazing. Like, the possibilities are really kind of mind-blowing. It really feels like a turning point for AI. You know, like all these problems that seemed impossible before, they might actually be within reach now. And that's really the takeaway I want people to have. If we can teach AI to understand and actually reason with this huge amount of information, imagine what else we can achieve. What other doors could this open? This is a really exciting time to be following all this. Yeah, and who knows what the future holds. The potential is limitless. It's incredible. It really is.